no uh, comparison with how hard it is for you to to tell the stories that you've had to tell or to live through the experiences that you've had to live through. But a lot of things come to my come to my mind. Um, Mr. Cutts, you said uh, 31 state 31 states have laws in place. Correct. Would Some one of those be Colorado? I. If you give me a moment, I will let you know that. 31 have something in place. And I, w I would like to know because, Ms. Gatos, your experience happened in Colorado. Actually, this was in California. We moved to Colorado after now. Thank you. Does California have one of have laws in place? Colorado does. Uh, California. Well, it has some laws in place. There appears to be absolutely no way of enforcing them. We went to the district. We went to the board, the police, and CPS. And our only resource left was a lawsuit. See this. This um, same thing came up in um, in the other hearing that we had on the um, abuses that, were, that happened in these camps and these other schools, and apparently nothing can be done there either. But what I'm wondering is what do, what good will more laws be uh, if if there's no way to enforce the law, or um, like in your case, Ms. Price, where where Apparently the teachers are untouchable, uh, and, and I remember when we had the, uh, the incident of deaths in the camps for those other schools, and no enforcement took place. And, and when you rule a homicide, and yet nothing seems to, to happen, the teachers are still working. Is this because of uh, labor laws that protect people? To, the, to extreme levels, is it labor that uh, labor unions that protect people from um, extreme situations? What is it that causes these kind of problems? And and the people seem to their lives go on unaffected. I believe anyway, I, I believe it's uh, because in my case. The teacher was put on the registry in Texas, but she was able to go to another state. I think that when a, a teacher does something and is ruled a homicide, and there's nothing that, that has been done, that teacher should be put on a uh, worldwide registry. A colleague of mine here, uh, you know, used to be on this committee, Mr. Porter, uh, pursued for several years. I think we got it signed at the law, finally. The, where FBI records could be shared in the case of uh, child abuse in schools, a teacher that was, uh, I think they were had to be convicted uh, of child abuse, but then they went on a registry and uh, the FBI records could be shared from state to state or school district to school district, which I think is very important. However, that was a conviction. What you're talking about is uh, a claim, or um, in the case of uh, your foster child, uh, the death was ruled a homicide, but there was no um, action taken, so there wouldn't be any uh, conviction on any person's record. So if you go to another state, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even have to lie on your application. There's not a place on it that says, did you... Um, no, no, she wouldn't pick up her phone. The only person I got a hold of was Grandma, and she's gonna come and get me soon. She's gonna come get me soon. Involved in some child abuse because that's the only thing that she was involved with was a child abuse. And maybe the school would look at it to see, okay, what kind of abuse was this, and dive into it deeper to see, and then see, okay, this dealt with a homicide, and maybe take action that way. Probably have laws that protect people's uh, privacy and protect them from others, you know, which makes it difficult to, to do that. The, but if the teacher is teaching and this registry is set worldwide, where that those individuals are able to go into their records to see, because you're putting other children's life in danger. Yeah. Problem is when you employ someone, you can't even ask them how old they are. You can't ask them about uh, 
so many things that would that would in, that would help give somebody a clue as to what's going on. I, I understand the registry you're talking about. It just seems to me that these cases are so extreme, and yet nothing can be done. And we're talking about maybe passing more laws. And I think it sounds like the states have laws where these abuses happen and nothing happened. So I, I guess I don't know what good another law would do. I understand the importance of, of training the, the teachers or administrators who may be involved in these situations so that they can better cope and handle without uh, abusing children like this. But this... I have a question. Pardon? Do we have pedophiles that have to report wherever they move to? And uh, their uh, employers are able to look into their files? I don't know. If, uh, can, excuse my ignorance, but why are they able to look into a pedophile's files, but a teacher that has killed someone, she's safe? Pardon, pardon your ignorance? Sounds to me like that's wisdom. Well, we don't know whether she was safe or whether they didn't check. I don't know. Is the Texas Registry a public record, Mr. Goods? Yeah, she was initially placed in the Texas Registry, then all of a sudden it disappeared from the Texas Registry. So we're not sure if Virginia checked or not, or if Texas dropped the ball. But we do know that the school district, in this case Loudoun County Public Schools here in North Virginia, was not aware that this teacher had this prior situation. But we don't know whether, again, whether anybody checked. We don't There's know. No. I think that's people. I referred the case to the Virginia Department of Education on Friday. Okay. And so they're aware of it. They're investigating it. And uh, ultimately, the committee will probably be informed what happened. All right. Thank but you. something broke down in the system, clearly. Right. Clearly, clearly something broke down in the system. Well, I don't know. I don't know if there is a system for that. No, no. But, but, but if the Texas Registry was, was a public record, the question would be, would you check where the person was last employed to see if there was anything on the public record? That's all I'm saying. I, I don't know that, that there's a system in place to do that. It would just seem that that would be what's the point of the registry. If nobody right, because usually on the application, they do ask your best job employee. Right. I assume you want to know where somebody came from. If you... Okay. Mr. Kilgore.